In this video, I will show you how to fill out the practice pages for Practice Note, the practice notebook for musicians. If you want to learn more about Practice Note, check out this video right here. Today, I am filling out one of the blue practice pages. It rotates every month, so it rotates between purple, blue, and teal, but this one is the blue one. The first thing you're going to want to do is fill out week starting. So I'm just making this up off the top of my head. Let's say it is July 1st. The great thing about practice note is you can start it at any time in the year. I did that purposefully because you might be wanting to start this in the summer. You might want to start it in the fall. You might want to start it on January 1st. I wanted to give you the flexibility to start it whenever you wanted. Also with flexibility, I have days of the week. And the reason that I did that is because a lot of people are going to want to start this at the beginning of the school week, which would be Monday. However, let's say you have your lessons on Wednesday, then you would maybe want to start your practice pages on Wednesday instead of Monday. But for the sake of this video, let's just say that your practice week is starting on a Monday. So we are going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Great. Now I'm going to fill out the warm up section. We're going to have, let's just say I want to practice my long tones. Long tones. And then also tone studies. Depending on your instrument, this is going to be different. I'm coming from a flute background, but it can be used for any instrument or if you're a vocalist. So tone studies, tone studies, great. Now for scales and etudes, again, this is just dependent on what it is that you are currently practicing and your skill level. So let's just say I am practicing A major as well as A minor scales and arpeggios and then we are going to make sure to also make a note of this that we want to practice both slurred and articulated Great, now let's move on to repertoire. Since we are pretending I am a flute player, which I am, we are gonna practice menuet. And there's so many menuets that, I, I started with the Suzuki program and there were a bunch of menuets, so I figured, you know what, let's, let's do a menuet. Work with metronome starting. at a quarter equals 50. So that's the BPM. You can of course put anything that you are working on in these sections and different notes that you have about it. I would do this all the time. I would say do starred section five times a day. Oops. Five, there we go, five times a day. I was wondering what I was doing there. Okay, repertoire. So for repertoire, we are going to do also polonaise. And then for this one, we're gonna say start page one, slow with metronome. For this section, you can put anything that you want. Some of the suggestions that I have are sight reading, music theory, duets, anything that you may want, you can put in this section so it's customizable. For this video, we're going to say it is sight reading. And we're going to just say, I'm making up a book here, <laughs> page 19 at a quarter 
equals 65. I always like to put metronome marking so that let's say this week I am working on minuet and I'm at 50 beats per minute, then maybe the next week I move it up to 60 beats per minute or whatever it may be so that you can actually see your progress and you can also always know where to start in terms of your tempo. Now, in this section here, you of course will check off what you are practicing. So maybe this day I'm practicing this, this, I didn't have time for that, went to here and here. Then you can just fill it out however you want to fill it out. The reason that I like these check boxes is because that way on Tuesday I could see, oh, I didn't practice minuet yesterday, so I want to make sure that I get around to it today. So that's why it's really important to track all of this so that your week is a well-rounded week. Okay, another thing I didn't mention yet is, did I practice something fun? I love having this every single day because it's great to remember why you started music in the first place. And the reason that I didn't write out anything like this, that you would actually articulate what it is that you are practicing in terms of something fun, is because this is ultimately for you. Whatever that may be that is fun for you to do. Maybe it's playing along with your favorite pop tune. Maybe it's playing a duet with a friend. Maybe it's playing some of your favorite Disney tunes, whatever it may be, you can check off that you practiced it here. If you are using this book with a private teacher, that way you don't have to worry about telling them what it is that you're practicing for this section. This is just for you. Now, this last part is total time practice each day. This can be more approximate. It doesn't have to be down to the minute. And the reason that I even have this listed here, it's not because I want you to say I am practicing this particular amount every single day. The reason that this is here is just to keep you kind of accountable, like, huh, you know, this week I didn't practice as much as I would have liked to practice. And then you can take that into account for the next week. It's not to say, oh, I made sure I practiced this much every single day, because it should be more about what did you accomplish that day and not the amount of time that you practiced that week, if that makes sense. It talks more about that in the book, so make sure to go back to that section about how to practice. And anyway, but let's just say for this particular day, I did 45 minutes. So you would just mark that down there and then go throughout the rest of the week. Now let's move on to the other page and show you how I use that section. The great thing about this is you can fill this out on your own. If you are using this with a private teacher, they can also make notes here. So let's say for instance, you are using this with your teacher, they could say something along the lines of next, week's lesson. Sorry, this is so slow. <laughs> just want to make sure I spell everything correctly. Next week's lesson is on Tuesday. So for instance, maybe your lessons are usually on Monday and they just want to make note, hey, reminder, it's on Tuesday instead. So you could write that in there and they can make other notes there as well. Another thing you could write on here for yourself is order new sheet music sheet music. Maybe there's a particular piece that you're learning or whatever, or you're about to learn. You could put a note about that there. And you can also, another thing that I list earlier when I'm talking about how to use practice note is make a note of a day that you didn't practice. That's just helping you establish the routine of practicing. You don't need to feel bad about not practicing. The reason that I'm having you do this is just so that you are aware of what you're practicing. It's not to feel guilty at all about not practicing. So what I would do, let's say on Wednesday, I wasn't able to practice. I would just make a note of it here. So I didn't practice Wednesday because I had too much homework, which is a valid excuse. You never know what life is going to bring you. Maybe it's a day that you're not feeling well and you're sick, whatever it may be. Just make a note of it here. It's not a big deal. Now for questions, let me show you what I mean by that. So maybe there is something in your music that you're not sure what it is, a certain term. So you could put, what does cantabile mean? And then that way, 
while you're practicing, you can make a note of it in practice notes. And then after you're done practicing, you can go on that. That way you don't get distracted about going onto your phone or computer to look up the answer, but you have the question here. Or maybe it's something you're not able to find online and you bring it in to your lesson and ask your teacher. Okay, now another question you might have is, what is the difference between a B flat and a sharp. So you could bring that in and ask a teacher, whether it's at school or with your private teacher. Okay, so now let's move on to the goal section. I talked earlier on on how to set achievable goals and how important that is. Make sure to go read that section, but for your goals, maybe one of them is practice six days this week. That would be a great goal for you to have. And then another thing you could write is do something fun every day. Referring to did I practice something fun? The final section is how am I feeling this week? So this is how you're feeling about your practice this week. And there are a lot of different factors. It could be, I'm really excited because I had a breakthrough. I'm frustrated because I had so much homework this week. I just didn't have enough time to devote to my music. Or maybe you're like, eh, I just didn't feel as inspired this week. And so next week I wanna make sure that I have some music that I do feel inspired by. Whatever it may be, it's important to track this so that you're practicing with intention. You're realizing how you feel because of your practice, how you can learn and grow from it in the coming weeks. So I'm gonna say I am so excited. Yay, I'm just gonna fill it in. Kind of cute like this, woo! So excited, actually I filled it in really sloppily. There we go, I am not an artist guys, not gonna lie. <laughs> anyway, let's say I did, okay, I practiced minuet and I had a breakthrough. I sounded so good this week. So I had a breakthrough with minuet. Woo, okay, super exciting. And then finally, we have this blank staff paper. So for instance, uh, you could use it if you were learning your A major and A minor scales, you could list that out here. So that's what I'm gonna just do for this particular week. Of course, you can put whatever it is here that you want. Maybe you wanna write down a certain section you wanna practice more. Maybe you wanna write out a fingering, whatever it may be, you can put it in this section. But let's just say I want to put in my A major scale here because I forgot what the notes are, so I would write in the notes A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. And then you can, of course, fill this out further, but that gives you an idea of how to fill out practice note for both the left page and right page every single week. You can customize it however you would like and use it any way that is best for you and your practicing. Thank you for watching, and you can check out this playlist right here for more videos about practice note. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and you can get your copy of practice note at thepracticenote.com. Make sure that you're following Practice Note on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook for practice tips, new product releases, as well as discounts.